Hello, welcome to Ego Radio Puna. I want to bring this as an update on what is happening about the accusation against TB Joshua, the documentary that was done by BBC. The church, Synagogue Church for Nations, Squad, has responded to these allegations. These allegations are actually heavy and everybody actually expects an official response from them because these are damning allegations. And these people, they are not just one, they are not two. These are allegations that people have raised before and now that these issues are coming up again. A lot of people are expecting what the church is going to do, at least the official step the church is going to take. So this is the response of the church, Synagogue Church of All Nations. This was published yesterday, night of January 2024. Characters in BBC's documentary on TB Joshua unknown to us, Synagogue Church. So let's look at this um, response from the church. Let's look at this response and see what this response actually contains. I want to read uh, as much as I can and as, as fast as I can so that we can have a view. I want to say some things about this response that the church uh, has given concerning the documentary BBC did on TB Joshua. So let's go. Uh, this response, actually, I copied them from the website directly. I did not alter anything. I didn't add anything. But there are some things I did not actually copy out. So this is credited to Vanguard newspaper. Scoan described the documentary against TB Joshua as unfounded and that the characters interviewed in the reports were unknown to the church. Wow. I don't actually know what they mean by unknown. Is it that these people, the church authority, does not actually know these people at all? They are strangers? Or they are saying that we did not send them? I don't understand what they mean by unknown. But these are familiar faces. Only the young men, the remaining faces are very familiar faces we used to see on TV. So let's continue. Squan said BBC World Service Services Investigative Unit, codename Africa I, came out this week with weird and strange episodes of atrocities against the late founder of Squan. BBC has compromised these lofty principles by descending into fictional, fictional narratives and propaganda, thus turning itself into a weapon for a harsh job as gangsters in the garb of journalism with a destructive material motive for personal gains against a perceived enemy. Only the BBC can best explain why it's woefully deviated from true journalism and shows to be dishing junk and feeding the public with stones called bread by its offensive and disenchanted reports of disgruntled elements. This, to say the least, is insulting to our professional and public intelligence. One thing is very obvious. Hundreds of BBC carriers cannot rubbish the indelible footprint of footprints of T.B. Joshua's legacy on it again. Where were all those shameless interviewees in all the decades? Was it when the men passed on that they suddenly became awake or came back to their senses? Only a fool would have respect for such charlatans. Thank God your report is honorated his only wife of any wrongdoings throughout the decades of your so-called investigated, lopsided work. 
Now, let me say a few things here. The church is an institution. A TB Joshua was just like every other human being. Whether it was used by God or not, we see, we can see the people he helped in the society. So definitely he made a lot of impacts in the life of people. But if people come out with these strong allegations and say, this is what this man did to us. This man destroyed our lives. This man was abusing his members. Remember the sole purpose of a pastor, the primary work of a pastor is actually to save souls. If people are coming out to say, this man destroyed our lives. I think the church shouldn't just rush out to say, oh, these people, they are evil. They are attacking the man of God. It was never like that. What is wrong if the church says, okay, these allegations are, are very, very heavy. We are going to do our own investigation and come out with our own reports. Remember, Bissola Johnson has been speaking for many years now. She has written books about T.B. Joshua with heavy allegations. She was never sued to court. She was, I, I don't think she was arrested. I never heard her say any day that she was arrested by T.B. Joshua or the church authority to come and defend herself. But when this statement says that these people are just waking up to begin to lay allegations, uh, I don't, this is not true. There are videos online of people who have come out to say, this man is doing this. This man is actually, these allegations are not actually new, except you haven't come across any of those videos or these books or these write-ups. So I think the church should come out to say, okay, we are going to carry out our own investigation because the person concerned was a human being like every other person. It would have been on a fair ground for Synagogue Church of All Nations to say, we have seen this documentary. We don't think this man did all these things, but we are going to carry out our investigation. But just coming out overnight or uh, two days interval to say everything was rubbish, I don't think it was right. Nobody is saying that this man never helped people. He touched a lot of lives. That's true. But the fact that somebody touched lives doesn't mean that he has a right to uh, abuse, sexually abuse anybody or do something that can, that is capable of harming those he is supposed to save. Uh, I don't know your opinion. A lot of people are saying a lot of things, but I think also that the government needs to come in. The police, the law enforcement agencies, actually need to come in to carry out their own investigation in a normal society. This is what's supposed to happen after this uh, documentary has been released. Investigative journalism supposed to have been taking place when all these allegations were coming out decades ago. Investigative journalism supposed to be at work not even BBC that is far away. So let's watch and see what's going to happen. The church is the body of Christ. Whatsoever thing that happens to the church, even if it happens to one denomination, it is very important it concerns every one of us who are Christians. We need to defend the name of Jesus Christ. We don't need to sit and fold our hands and say, oh, it doesn't concern me. No, there are people who are hearing these things and are saying that I would never be a Christian. I would never accept this kind of Christianity. So we need, we who are Christians, we need to speak up. We need to speak our minds. We need to present the truth of the Bible to the world so that in case anybody is doing the wrong thing, we have to come out to say, this is not our practice. That is what I'm, say I'm saying. The church also scorned, the church T.B. Joshua left behind, 
to carry out their own investigation and not rush into conclusion to say, oh, this is bewitchment. These are, this is the work of an enemy. No, that is not the right way to go about things. This is my own opinion. So the church should sit, set up a committee and do their own investigation of these things. If these people are actually lying or not. But if they feel that these people are enemies and T.B. Joshua was a saint and they don't have to do any investigation, I don't think it is right. Except they know these things are true and they just want to come out to say, oh, we dispel all of them. None of it is true. Your opinion is very important. Let's hear your opinion in the comment section. Thank you. God bless you.